hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to talk about the role centers of the cars so we are going to learn the different types of geometry like unequal arms and equal parallel arm then macpherson then what is the positive swing arm role centers right and what is the negative swing arm geometry so let's get started as you can see i will give you the basic overview how it is going to be performed like this is our tire right if i hide this and you are seeing the this view right it is the front axle as you can see my steering uh, points are mounted my tire is mounted right so these are my knuckle points which is a upper upper control arm and lower control arm and these are the points these are my high points which is directly connected to my chassis or a frame as you can see if you do this or see this in this way then you will see your wishbone at some uh, like incline and one wishbone at a prior horizontal state so how you are going to determine at what angle i have to put my wishbones in or what where i have to put my hard points on on my chassis how you are going to decide so for that you have to determine your suspension geometry which is totally based on defining your instantaneous center and your reaction point which is uh, which can be called as an instantaneous center and after that you have to determine your roll center which is directly relate uh, like related to your vehicle's overall performance so let's get started so we will draw one tire here and we will draw one wishbone okay let's say i will draw my wishbones like this okay i will give it a different color so it's good to have a visual interpretation We'll draw as a red portion and this one. Okay. And one wishbone in this state. No. Okay. And my one center line is here. My overall car center line is here. As you can see. Now to determine your first instantaneous center what you have to do i will draw one ground which is a blue okay now this is my ground this is my wishbone this is my lower wishbone and upper wishbone is here this is a double wishbone geometry now as you can see my wishbone is at some angle it's mounted at some angle right so what you have to do you have to extend this line up to this and you have to extend this line wherever it meets that will be your instantaneous center like if i'm extending extending this line something like this and extending this horizontal wishbone something like this so whatever point i'm getting here that will be my instantaneous center right and to determine the roll center after that what you have to do now you are done with your ic first that is your ic now you have to find your roll center so how can you determine that you have to select a ground point and the middle point of your tire where it is very in a contact so this middle point and you have to connect that point to your ic center right so basically i'm connecting this ic that is my instantaneous center which can be called as a, my reaction point now ic center like what you can say at some point of time that uh, that is at a zero velocity moment ic i'm talking about the ic and then your you have to determine your roll center this will and wherever your middle middle line or middle center line of your vehicle and your line which is directly connected to your ic and a tire contact patch wherever it meets 
that will be your role center line or role center point right so this is how you can find your role center now there will be many types of uh, geometries are there like uh, this can be called as a positive swing gum geometry just because your roll center is above the ground if your roll center is going below your ground so you, that can be called as your negative swing gum geometry but and how you determine that your you need a positive swing gum geometry or a negative swing gum geometry that will be according to your functional requirement this is not something like you have to always do a positive swing gum geometry now i will take it as an example in a solidworks let's draw one geometry here go to i will create one tire i will select one fish bone here i am creating fish bone over here now it will be a negative i am drawing some negative uh, swing arm geometry this is my vehicle center line and i will draw one ground also yes and that is for construction and infinite line right now this is the fixed line what i can do i will extend this line up to this and i will make it collinear with this wishbone right and also this one i will collinear second and I will make it a collinear. I will make it as a for construction. Now I can trim these lines, and I will get get my point. So this will be my RC, right? Uh, sorry, IC, which is a instantaneous center. So this is how you can determine your this one uh, instantaneous center, right? Now for this geometry how do you define your roll center you cannot draw a line like this and there is no vehicle center line comes into the picture so what you can do you can just go through you can do one thing connect to your tire contact patch and make it one line which is a collinear with this okay so just because this is not constrained that's why it is uh, like now you can see this is variable now i can make it a collinear with this one and whenever you extend this okay this is also not fixed line so what you have to do you can just fix that this uh, my okay now as you can see this line should not be fixed and I will extend my line this one and make it a collinear. Now my line wherever my line is coincide coincident with this vehicle center line, that will be my roll center. So this will be my roll center. You can put a point and this can be called as a negative swing arm geometry. Now, now in some cases there will be some parallel wishbone right so let's do that okay make it one this one and yeah This is my upper wishbone. This is my lower wishbone. Right. Now, if you predict your IC, these are two parallel lines. Right. So how you how you can say where is my instantaneous center? So for this kind of geometry, your instantaneous center will be infinite means you cannot find your instantaneous center so how so how you are determining your role center now 
for this kind of geometry your roll center will be on the ground and at the middle where your center line of the vehicle will be coincident coincident right so this will be your roll center for this kind of uh, geometry which can be called as a parallel wishbone geometry right now coming to the macpherson strut strut right which is which can be used in a commercial cars nowadays in a passenger vehicle so they have one wishbone over here and macpherson strut are something like this so how can you determine the geometry your suspension strut will be in this direction so you cannot draw something like this to match your uh, descent in a center so for this kind of geometry what you can do but at whatever angle your macpherson strut is you can just make one line like this and make it a perpendicular to this line you will make a perpendicular yeah now it is for great now i will fix this i will constrain and i will also fix this so it is not going to not going to move right so what you can do you can just extend this line something like this uh assume this is your macpherson suspension strut i will make it uh, for construction mode and i will extend this line and draw like this okay so this will be your instantaneous center i got my instantaneous center and I, if i want to make my roll center so what you can do you can just draw the line from a contact patch the middle contact patch of your tire and connect it it to the instantaneous center and wherever your point is getting match this will be your roll center so this is how you can find your roll center for different types of geometries so yeah uh, this is how you can draw the geometries you can also try with the uh, if you want the more accurate uh, geometries then you can use the solidworks sketch block which is very helpful for making this types of uh, uh, geometries and you can change the angle anytime in the sketch there will be some problem of changing the constraint and all so in the blocks you won't have any restriction uh, to this so yeah for this video we are closing here and if you want to know more about the suspension geometry and cal hand written calculation to match with the simulation part so you can comment down and what comment down whatever you need so yeah thank you for this video keep sharing keep learning